if you got your head all coned up and were still ugly you could do other things. You could, for example, try to get your eyes crossed. They would hang shiny objects in front of babies, so they would stare at them for a long time to get their eyes stuck crossed. In terms of clothing, the more feathers you could pack on the better looking you were. On your head, on your body, wherever, just pack those feather on hot stuff. And if you still didn't quite make it there were other things you could do too. You could, for example, drill a piece of jade, which is a green rock, into your teeth. Now that is some serious bling. Also, you could get lots of tattoos. Keep in mind this was done not with electric needles, but with the spines of stingrays. Ouch. Finally, you could cover yourself with piercings. Nose, chin, is, eyebrow, whatever. You think piercings make you a rebel now? Ha, Mayans did it over a thousand years ago. The Mayans had a unique language that was the most advanced in the Americas. They were the only group who used sounds in their writing, not just pictures. The Maya are really set apart from other Mesoamericans in that they developed a form of writing that could accurately represent all the sounds of their language. Other peoples, such as the Aztecs, used picture writing to record names, dates and important events. But only the Maya were able to write more or less as we do. The language of the ancient Maya was an early version of the languages spoken today. These people were writing in Maya, and unlike the rest of the Mesoamericans, they were able to write syllable for syllable the entire sound range of the language. Each hieroglyph represented a syllable. So the Maya could transcribe into written symbols anything they could say, and then could read back exactly the same word. Maya writing can be seen in books, on pottery, on walls, and carved on jewelry and stone. Much of the Mayan writing was to do with time, and it's still possible to see their complicated calendars. But only four books have been found, and these are all religious kinds. The books are painted onto paper made from fig tree bark. The long painted strips were then folded like a fan or a concertina. The Aztecs had similar books, which today are called codices. And although they produced thousands, only a few survived, many being destroyed by the Spanish. Here are the vowel sounds in Mayan. I guess they are pretty similar to ours, you know, except for that X sound. A, A, E, O, U. Here's some common phrases, you know in case you ever run into a man. B sharp bellash means, hi, how are you? And then you would reply, well, at least if you were polite, malub, which means I'm fine. Finally, you can end your thrilling conversation by saying you boutique, which of course means thank you. All of these things from Mayan society were tied up in Mayan religion food, the ball game, sacrifice. They all became part of it. In their religion the Mayans had many gods. There were gods of everything you can think of. Water, air, con, you name it. They believed the gods required sacrifices to keep them happy. Different gods needed different things. Some wanted things as simple as con. Other gods wanted live blood, sometimes from an animal, and sometimes from humans. The Mayan kings and queens especially had to sacrifice blood for the gods. A knife made from a stingray's spine. A rope of thorns. These are the keys to comprehending the Maya and the sacred power of their kings.
every portal of every Maya temple is a doorway to the underworld. Inside this temple, it is the duty of both king and queen to reenact the mythical moment of Maya creation. In myth, it was the blood of gods that gave life to man. This was the original act of sacrifice. On earth, the king is as a god. And blood is the price of power, the debt to the gods that must be repaid. Myths and symbols will not suffice. Blood must be shed. And royal blood forever bound that sacrifice of the gods to the life of man. As his subjects watch, the bloody sacrament of the king spirals upwards to the gods. In return for the sacrifice of royal blood, the crowd believes, the gods will cause the sun to rise, the rains to fall, the corn to grow. This is a description of a sacrifice from the main Mayan book called the Popolva. They should cut themselves open, that from under their ribs up under their armpits their hearts should be torn out. Before everything, sacrifice. By this you will obtain grace. Next, make holes in your ears, and likewise prick your elbows and knees. Offer as sacrifice the blood that flows from them. In these ways, your gratitude will be shown. Wow, they were like totally emo.